Hey guys, George here from Murphy's Magic and in a couple days we're headed up to see some of the world's greatest magicians over at FISM Korea. And while we're over there, we're going to hit up some of Korea's best magicians for a unique set of at-the-table lectures. We're going to expose you to some brilliant magicians with effects that you'll never get to see anywhere else. So come join us as we go on tour to discover the world's best magic right here at the table. Anna, please point at the card and remember that card. And this is a little different, but I'm going to have you sign the back of the card. Okay, and please close the cap of the marker and you can just leave it right there. And Jeong, I need you to remember a card that you see. Got it? And I told you this before, but what did I prepare? I have an envelope in my inner jacket pocket. In this envelope, I have a prediction card. When I count to three, you're going to say the name of your card. One, two, three. King of Spades. King of Spades. And when I open the envelope with my prediction, King of Spades. When you look at the back, you can find Anna's signature. You're also gonna learn my gimmick version and ungimmick version of my Chicago opener. What we're gonna do is very simple. Anna, I need you to memorize a card that you see. Okay. I'm gonna guess which card you remembered. Is it red? Yes. Yeah. Hearts? Yeah. Good, we're getting closer. Okay, now I need you to focus. Is it eight of hearts? No. Of course, sometimes we get the card. Can you tell me what your card is? Jack of hearts. Jack of hearts. This is the jack of hearts you had in mind. But more importantly is where the jack of hearts is located. Watch closely. When I count one, two, three, the jack of hearts rises to the top. But more importantly, where was the jack of hearts? Yes, it was on top. But when I observed the deck, the jack cards has vanished and moved to the middle of the deck. Let me try a little slower so you can applaud here. Watch the seven of spades closely. As I count one, two, three, and give a gesture, the card rises to the top. Let me try a little faster. I'll count one, two, shake the deck a little, and the jack of hearts has disappeared and moved somewhere to the middle of the deck. Actually, there's something more important that you should know. Anna, you remember the card you saw, right? It was a completely free choice? Yeah. The card you memorized, as you can see, the chosen Jack of Hearts, is the only card with a red back. Thank you. You're also going to learn my version of Collector Effect with some special endings. Now I'm going to use these four signed dates. One, two, three, four signed cards of it. As you can see, the eight of spades, the clubs, the hearts, and lastly the diamond. In the same position, I'm going to give the cards a little shake. One card turns over. The first card. Thank you. For the second card, I just need to snap my finger. Then two cards are now turned over in the packet. Now I'll just spin the cards around, three cards are turned over, and now there's only one card left. For the last card, with a simple gesture, all the cards are turned over. Thank you. Now I need you to focus on something. What color is the deck? With a count, one, two, three, and a little shake, all the colors are changed. Not just one card. But all four cards change colors to a blue deck. Thank you. And of course, more importantly, are these cards the cards you signed? Yeah. And these are exactly the four cards you signed. Okay, I'm going to put these one, two, three, four cards to the side. I'm going to use this red deck which hasn't changed colors yet. And Anna, this time you're going to say stop whenever you want. Stop. Remember this card? Ace of Spades. We'll put it back in the middle of the deck and give it a good shot. Now, important thing to remember is that this deck is still red with a count of one, two, three. The color of the back of this card is changed. But it's not just a single card. All the cards have changed colors. And the chosen card, the Ace of Spades, is the only red card left in the deck. 
Thank you. Actually, the most important thing, I knew you would select the Ace of Spades. Because as you can see, what cards did we begin with? There's an Ace in the deck. But not just one Ace, when you spread the cards out, in between the cards, you can see all the other Aces are placed between them, just like this. Thank you. But the most important thing is to focus on the color. What color back do the Ace of Spades have? Red. And all the other Aces are also red. Thank you. I'm sure you're gonna love it. Please join me at the table.